How's everybody doing today? Me? I'm doing all right. We're um, we're planting peppers today. You guys want to see what we're doing? So um, just uh, my thought process here for this coming season. Last year I grew a whole whack load of peppers, right? You guys, if you've been following my channel, you guys saw those massive harvests of peppers I was doing. My kids don't eat peppers and there's only so many peppers you can kind of give away to people. And I still have peppers, lots of them, bags and bags of them stored in my freezer. So uh, I think last year I had seven kinds of peppers I planted. I don't have all of those seeds anymore because I used up a bunch last year. But I was thinking, do I really need seven kinds of peppers, right? So basically how it works is when I'm, when I'm, I plan my garden every year, right? I, I plan basically how many plants of each one I'm going to grow based on space allotment in the garden and so on and so forth. Why grow something, that light's horrible in here, isn't it? Um, why grow a lot of something that you can't really put to use, right? I mean, there's only so much peppers I can incorporate into my diet. And trust me, I, I do my best to get them into my diet, but both of my kids are just like that. We're not having any of that. So it kind of limits how I can put them into the garden or how I can incorporate them into my meals. So I've basically narrowed it down to four peppers and I'll, and I'll run you through why. We have, oh, come on, light. Hang on, guys. There. We're doing jalapenos. Why jalapenos? Because jalapenos. You can't make salsa without them. You can't make candy, cowboy candy without them. You absolutely can't make pickled jalapenos without jalapenos. So we're going to do those. I'm probably going to start about 10 plants. And then I'll plant maybe six or eight of the nicest ones and, uh, and probably just give the rest away or whatever. Um, in here, you probably can't read that. Yeah, it's folded over. There, trying to get the glare off. These are my Alma paprika peppers. And uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, the paprika that you cook with up in your kitchen comes from peppers. They're a very thick walled uh, pepper about the size of an apple and they're bright red and they're really good. Um, and I cold smoke them over my homemade smoker and then I dehydrate them and I powder them and I guarantee you it's the best paprika you've ever had in your life. And the more paprika I grow, the more I'm using. So we're going to grow a buttload of these. I'm figuring maybe 20 plants. And then we have our traditional sweet peppers here. We have, that's the big red, right? And then that's the California Wonder. There. Both big, both blocky. Uh, not last summer, but the summer before that. I was harvesting green peppers this big. No joke, three green peppers weighed two pounds. I measured them on my scale, they're massive. So we're gonna go with two varieties of sweet, my paprika peppers and the almas. And I have to do my seed shopping. I buy almost all of my seeds exclusively from MI Gardener. And I'm gonna go on their website today, tomorrow, whatever poke around. I got to order some tomatoes and, and some other odds and sods. There is a chance that I may find some more peppers, but what I'm actually looking for are different varieties of paprika peppers. Okay. So that's my, that's my thought process on my peppers. And I'll show you guys how easy it is to germinate these. We won't plant them today. Uh, we'll do that in a couple of days, but I'm going to show you guys, if you're new here, the easiest way to, to germinate your pepper seeds, okay? So you don't need much. Get your, you're gonna need Ziploc bags. Okay. You're gonna need Ziploc bags. Put a label on them. 
you're going to need one piece of paper towel for each Ziploc bag folded in half. We've got those just sitting here and you're going to need some water. So the process is really simple. We'll just knock this out real fast. Ready? Take your Ziploc bag or take your paper towel. Jalapenos. Random pepper seed there, and I don't know what it is, so we're not going to put that there. When you put your seeds down, when you put your seeds down, don't blob them all up into one small place because your roots, as they grow, might start to tangle up together. So try and spread them out a little bit. Okay, take your seed. Fold it over, just like that. Get your Ziploc bag. Just put it in like that. And just take your water. See how it's just kind of spreading out on the paper? We're not looking, we're not looking for dripping wet, okay? But as you can see, when I moved it, you see how all my seeds blobbed all up? So I'm going to have to fix that. So I'll fix that afterwards, okay? Uh, normally I use, to do this, normally I use... The real, uh, the real Ziploc bags, which are bigger, makes it a little bit easier, but I'm running out of those. So, so we'll just put this off to the side. I'll fix that afterwards. Almas, we'll do the same. So if you're, if you have all your stuff ready, it really doesn't take a long time to, uh, to put all this together. Give her a fold in the middle. You guys see that okay? You think that's enough? Maybe we'll do a few more just in case. Get that out of the way. Fold that up. You know what we're going to do so they don't move on us? There. And basically what you're doing with uh, these Ziploc bags is you're basically creating a, a little greenhouse type environment. So then we add a little more water just to make sure. If you're doing this and your bags dry out, you're going to run into germination problems. So we close them up. Almas, done. Big reds. Next, paper towel, Give a little fold just to make sure we're on the mark. Well, I guess that's how many big reds we're doing. Because that package is empty. Spread them around. Gonna give it a couple of drops of water. Now 
And if you guys are germinating your peppers at home, just remember that that a little more moist. Just remember that your peppers need about 85 degrees Fahrenheit in order to germinate. Okay? So you're going to want to find a nice warm place for them. I put mine on a heat mat, which I need to replace because I've, I've used it for so many years now that it's, it's literally starting to disintegrate. And considering it's an electrical appliance, I think I don't want to run an electric heat mat that's starting to break down. So, All right. And these ones are the California Wonder. If you're looking for a really good pepper, guys, these are really good. You can eat them green. You can eat them red. There. And if you germinate your peppers this way and you keep them nice and warm. Oh, yeah, that was awesome, eh? See that? Like a boss. Make a mess like a boss. Um, so if you germinate your peppers this way and you make sure you keep them warm, you'll probably get about a 90% success rate with your seeds. So it's okay to stick a few extra in the bag, even if, you know, you're only planning on growing a few. Trust me, if you have pepper plants growing and germinated, you will not have a hard time finding people who would love to have a couple extras if you find that you've started too many. Every year I start way more plants than I plant. And I mean every year. Even before I had this greenhouse. And uh, I never had trouble giving away... I never had trouble giving away anything that I wasn't planting. There we go. California Wonder. Big Red. Alma. And Jalapeno. So these will go on a heat mat. And probably within about three to four days, these will, for the most part, have roots. And then we're going to start planting them. And I think I'm going to start planting them in... Um, in solo cups right off the bat instead of little grow cells that way I don't have to transplant them out of grow cells and then into solo cups and then from solo cups into one gallon or whatever these are see hang on these are big reds and look they're already starting to put out flowers so and these plants are only a month and a half old, I think. So. So I will have some, I will have some extra, <coughs> I mean, I will have some uh, sweet peppers in the garden early. So, because some of the things I'm growing in my greenhouse will not be planted in the garden, like the lettuce and stuff will not be planted in the garden. But these peppers, they'll just keep producing. So I'm going to plant these in the garden and I'll already be eating peppers off of them before, uh, before they even get planted out in the end of May. So that's why we've got peppers growing now and then they will go outside. And by that time, these will all be catching up. I mean, they'll probably be bigger than the plants that I have in the house now before they go out because we have two and a half months or so. So, all right. So these are going to go on a heat mat. And uh, if you're thinking of possibly starting your peppers, don't forget that hot peppers take a lot longer to put on fruit than a sweet pepper does. So if, you're, if you are only going to start some peppers now, start your hot peppers now. If you want to wait a little bit to start your sweets, that's okay. I've started my sweet peppers as late as the beginning of April and planting for May 2-4. But I want my plants as big as possible before they go out in the season this year because every single day 
that they have growing between now and planting season is one more day sooner I will be able to harvest fruit off of them. And that's the whole goal here. I don't want to have to wait till end of August to start eating out of my garden because by the end of September, we're tearing it all down. So, so that's the plan. Heat mat, keep them moist. Keep, in, keep attention onto the moisture inside your paper towel. Some people keep these bags open. See, they'll tear them open a little bit to get airflow. Some people don't. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I'm telling you, if you keep the bag open and you put it on your heat mat, they will dry out basically every 24 hours. So that can really stress out those little roots if they end up in a dried, old, crinkly paper towel. So just a thought, okay? Have an awesome day. Grow good food. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, hit that little subscribe button. It'll probably be, I don't know, down in this corner somewhere. And um, have an awesome day. See ya.